everyone, welcome back to United Kids. My name is Natalie and it is really, really great to see you today. This is the final episode in our series of United Kids. It has been a real privilege to make these videos and to keep connected with you and I hope that you have enjoyed them as much as I have enjoyed making them. Well, this is a bit special, isn't it? Um, it's also special that the church, God willing, will be open next week and I want to thank everybody who's making that possible and for all of the patience from you guys as too. So we have a final episode and it's a bit special and we're going to kick off with a song. I hope you enjoy it. Hi, it's great to be with you and if you're able to stand up, why don't you stand up wherever you are and join in with our actions and the first action is going to be creating this globe with our hands. Are you ready? He's got the whole world. Okay, we have our story now. Now this is a, a very, very special story that I'm gonna show you today and it has two parts. Um, and maybe you could read along with me, that'd be great. This is called The Ascension. Now, Jesus and his friends were on a hillside outside Jerusalem. The time had come for Jesus to leave the world. In the time since his resurrection, he had made many things clearer to them and he had told them a little about what the future would hold. Jesus turned to his disciples. You must stay here in Jerusalem for now and wait for the gift that my father has promised you. For soon you will be, ba you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Then you must spread my message, not only in Jerusalem and Judea and Samaria, but in every country. He held up his hands to bless them. And then, before their eyes, he was taken up into heaven and a cloud hid him from sight. As they stood, looking upwards in wonder, suddenly two men dressed in white, angels, stood beside, stood beside them. Why are you looking at the sky? Jesus has been taken from you into heaven. 
but he will come back again in the same way that he left. It was 10 days since Jesus had been taken up to heaven. The 12 disciples, for they had chosen a man named Matthias to join them to take the place of Judas Iscariot. They gathered together and suddenly the house was filled with the sound of a mighty wind coming from heaven. As they watched in wonder, tongues of fire seemed to rest on each person there. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different languages, languages they had never spoken before or studied. Hearing a commotion, a huge crowd gathered outside. Great was their amazement when the disciples came out and began talking in different languages. How can this be? they exclaimed. There are people here from Asia and Egypt, from Libya and Crete, from Rome and Arabia. How can we all be hearing them using our own languages to tell us about God? Some people only wanted to make fun of what was happening. They've all been drinking too much wine, they mocked. Now, I know that's a bit of a funny story, and it, and it is. Um, but, you know, we've been learning about Moses. And in Moses' time, God only spoke to people through certain things. Uh, remember the burning bush and things like that. Now, what happened is um, when Jesus came, he helped us have that close relationship with God that we didn't have before. Before that, we couldn't personally talk to God. But after Jesus, God sent down his Holy Spirit. And he did some pretty crazy things, as you can see, the tongues of fire and that sort of thing. But God gave us the Holy Spirit. And that is our way of communicating to God. It's like a walkie-talkie to God. And that means that God is with us constantly because his spirit is with us. So it doesn't matter what we're going through, whether it's a hard time at school, whether, uh, you know, your parents are arguing, or whether you're going through a pandemic, God's spirit is always with you and always will be. And that's what makes this so special for me. Because, you know, when COVID has been really difficult, which it has been for all of us, I know that God's presence is right here and that I'm never, never alone. And I hope that is the message that you take away from these 41 episodes of United Kids. I really do. Thanks for listening. This is the time that I want to say thank you to all of you for being amazing. So many of you have helped me out by reading and you've done an absolutely amazing job. The Christmas pageant, which we did online through United Kids, that, again, absolutely fantastic. You guys were amazing. Everybody who helped me out with science experiments and crafts and games and that type of thing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's been really, really fun and I hope you have enjoyed it. Much love. Well, here we are. We've come to the end of our series and um, I just thank God, you know, that we've been able to connect like this um, over the power of the internet, even though we've been apart. And, and I just, want to reiterate that from the stories today you know that we are never alone you know God is always always by our side and he has been there through this pandemic and he'll continue to be there in everything we face and if that's more waves of the pandemic he'll be there if that's um, strained friendships he'll be there if it's bullying if it's anything He's by our side. And, and I really hope that that is the message that you have received because that is the whole point. You know, God loves you so much that he sent his only son so that whoever believes in him won't die but he have eternal life. And he is here all the time, all the time with you guys. And uh, he hasn't left you for a moment through this pandemic and he won't ever leave you. So I'm going to say a little prayer to thank God and then that'll be it and um, yeah, let's, let's pray. And if you agree with me, you can say Amen at the end. God in heaven, we've got so much to be grateful for. 
I thank you for all my friends, young and old, that have joined me week after week to learn more about you and to feel your presence near us. God, we just want to thank you that even though things have been difficult, you have kept us connected. We can still see and hear our friends over the internet. God, I want to bless the reopening of the church. Um, thank you that we can be together again after all this time. And I'm just really, really grateful that my friends can join together after this time of so, uh, separation. And I'm sure there'll be lots of celebrating to come. And for all my friends that um, maybe they've moved away or they're not quite ready to come back to church here, I pray that you bless them too until we can all be together again. And it's in Jesus' precious name that I pray. Amen. Thank you for joining this journey with me, guys. It's been really special. I've missed you. And uh, I hope I can see you again really soon. Take care. God bless.